Hello, gamer. Welcome to ZGC. My name is Aurelius, and today we're going to check out a War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XVS equipment system. Brand new update just released not too long ago, and it came with some major quality of life improvements and as you can see here in the early parts of the video we cra crafted a plus four star weapon now um when it comes to building up these weapons and getting them leveled it up uh the reason why you want the plus is this little uh ability stat down there uh as you see slash at attack up eight uh for this particular weapon um, and once we get it to 5, it will go up to 15. At base, it won't have anything there. And then usually at plus 1, it will be like uh, 2 slash attack up or 1 slash attack up, something like that. And it will go up incrementally and start getting bigger and bigger leaps as as you get it up. But this video, we're going to go over everything it takes to to uh, get these weapons up to plus five for the maximum bonus stat. Now it doesn't change the stats of the weapon overall. Um, all it does is is uh, change the special ability up there. And if you're a fan of Final Fantasy games, you know small numbers mean big changes. So that 15 uh, slash attack up, even that eight attack or eight slash attack up is a huge, huge number. Um, in terms of actual gameplay mechanics. So what you see me doing right here is the tedious process of leveling up this uh, plus four weapon uh, all the way up to level 40, which you need to do um, to get it plus five. You will need two level 40s of the same weapon for a plus five. And again, we'll go over all of that throughout the course of this video. You see the plus five recipe is there and ready. Now to actually get all of that, you're gonna need a lot of stuff. You know, and I purposely uh farmed this weapon, the Nagnarok, uh during um Orlando's uh event and Ramses event, uh the Final Fantasy Tactics crossover event you know because i knew i wanted this weapon plus five it's just a really good weapon you see the attack stat on it it's just absolutely ridiculous at 162 if it's the assault type so what i'm doing is crafting a bunch of a uh, nagnaroks um as you're gonna need uh 64 recipes to make this all possible for one level four weapon you need a total of 32 bases uh, yeah it's ridiculous you know that's for one level four so that means for two level fours you need 64 rep recipes you need a s total of 70 um for all of this because then the rest of them are just, just combining and upgrading so um once you get you know the amount of base weapons that you want you know preferably 64 of them <laughs> but uh yeah once you get get all of these crafted and oh boy it's, it's a tedious process it's very tedious but it's so much better and you am gonna fast forward here a little bit because this is I wasn't expecting it to take this long. All right, here we go. So uh, another major change with this update is before we didn't have this option. So as you saw right there, I was able to choose uh, which bonus stat I want or which type of weapon I want that to be. So as you're crafting all these weapons, whereas before it would be assigned a random stat and it would just change randomly if you would plus them up. Now, you can actually choose so uh especially for attack and magic type characters uh, when it comes to the weapons you either want assault which doubles the attack on the weapon or you want magic which will double the magic on the weapon i mean you can do something like vital or dodge if you want more evasion or more hp but 
uh, you know, you're severely hampering the damage because, like I said, the two biggest stats on these weapons is going to be attack, magic, and, and uh, HP, you know, depending on what the weapon is. So you want vital uh, attack and magic on all of these weapons. And another great thing, which we'll get to a little bit later, is it will automatically unequip um, the item if you have assigned it have it assigned as a favorite to a certain character or you know they're just in that random formation you made for that one time for this one event you know that you're no longer using you know um and you have no idea where it's at i know there was a pin in the butt for me before like <laughs> trying to to uh, plus up some weapons because i did want some plus fives early on just to have plus fives and see what they were all about but you know uh going through and trying to find uh where weapons was on who you know going through every single character and you know when you got over 50 60 characters that's a pretty pretty tedious task right there <laughs> uh uh yeah, this is a major quality of life improvement, or two of them. So the, just the ability to choose the typing of the weapon. Like I said, if it's a weapon, you definitely want assault or magic, depending on if it's going on a magic user or a physical attacker. Um, and vital for armor, because that's just going to double the amount of HP that that piece of armor gives. You know, and you could double down on e defense, but I recently made some like gold armors and the max defense with with the barrier, which I believe doubles the defense. You know, there's only 18 defense. Again, small numbers. Big changes. But, I mean, when you're gaining 18 defense, but you can gain 162 attack off of a weapon, like, uh, th that kind of change isn't big enough. You know what I'm saying? So just get that HP and give your characters the survivability when it comes to armor. Unless you're doing something like a ninja who can dodge a lot, then you'll want that dodge stat. You know, because every little bit of evasion helps tremendously, which is what I'm trying to do for my uh, Frederica <laughs> right now. Because I got that reflex maxed up and I'm kind of upset at how often that triggers. It, it's not triggering enough. So I'm trying to increase your evasion to get that to trigger more or see if that triggers more. But uh, when it comes to actually upgrading these weapons to uh, plus one, plus two, plus three, all that good stuff. Uh, for the base, you know, you just craft the weapon and then you can immediately go to plus one. Uh, to get them all to plus two, as you see me doing right now, um, you would have to get every level up to level 10. And if you look at my uh, gold atomite, my large atomite stash, before I started this process, I had over a thousand of those. And this is just me creating a bunch of extra stuff, just showing you guys how to get a four star and how... <laughs> how uh, remedial and tedious it is to get it. But, you know, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything, you know. And it's all right as long as you keep at least one weapon um, with the type that you want. You know, you can just combine and mix. Just make sure you have that one type as the plus three as you're going to plus four if you want it for the plus four or as the plus four as you're going to plus five. You know, um, that way you'll always have the perfect typing. The rest of them, I mean, I could have done two magics on like half of these swords and still had enough assaults to overwrite them later on. So it doesn't matter. Just make sure when you hit that plus four that one of them is either assault or magic or whatever it is you're trying to do if you're not going to major offensive uh, direction with the weapons. Now to get them plus two, you will have to get the plus ones up to level 10. And as you see right here, I'm prepping them to get to plus three. You got to awaken the weapon and get them to level 20. So whatever the plus number is, times that by 10, that's what level you got to get the, the weapon to to go up to the next uh, plus and the recipe. So 
again, four plus one is just base level one. Four plus two, you need to get each weapon up to level 10. For plus three, you need to get each weapon up to level 20. For plus four, you need to get each weapon up to level 30. And for plus five, you need to get each weapon up to level 40. You know, um, and here we go with the four star, the two four stars. I just made another four star. So, or I have the ability to make another four star. So, you know, I was kind of deciding on whether or not um, I actually wanted to use one of these weapons because the attack stat on it was like 93. It was, yeah, or 98. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And I didn't want to give it up. Uh, we'll, this is what we'll do in the next part of this video is show you how to actually max out these stats and how those work. Well, first... First, we got to go ahead and craft this five star and there's the confirmation to unequip it from a character and bam, we got a five or a plus five Nagnarok. All right, so now this bad boy can be awakened all five times, which once you get it to whatever level you want the weapon at, you do want to awaken it five times. All right, now when we get into the enhancements, you see all the stats off to the left. Um, so whenever you start leveling up a weapon, uh, there's a chance that one of the stats will will get a crit, essentially, and it, it will get extra bonuses in there, you know. So if we were to roll it with accuracy and evade plus with one and two, and we were to crit on those, you know, especially that accuracy, like we just wasted a roll. So to eliminate those, you use the... The hammers that you can get from PvP, they're in the metals uh, mock shop for the arena as well. And they are PvP rewards for the arena and match duels. So if you want to really stock up on those, go heavy in the arena and, and the matches. And you should have plenty of resources to get all this stuff. But by maxing out the accuracy in evade, we're eliminating the chances of those getting a crit when we try to level this thing up. Another way to increase the chances of, of getting the stat you want to crit is to use these attack seals. So for each seal, it raises the percentage by, I, do, I don't know how much, but you can use a maximum of 10 per roll and uh, like these were attack stills was supposed to get or to help me get crit an attack is still critted in magic. So it's, it's still random, um, but the, the seals will help influence it a bit, you know, um, so so to get perfect stats on these weapons. You know, you, uh, use a combination of the smithing hammers and and these attack seals for your best chances. Now, there's no guarantee that even if you use all of that stuff, you will max out every single stat on the piece of gear. But, you know, it will just help, help uh, get there faster. So, as you see with the magic here, is getting kind of close. Uh, I forget how much a smithing hammer for magic gives, but like when you're kind of close to those max maxes of a stat that you're not trying to level up, uh, go ahead and use a smithing hammer on it. So like right here is now at 48. Now would be a great time to use a magic smithing hammer and just max that out. Everything else is maxed out. So that means every time the crit happens is always going to be on attack. You know, I don't believe I use a smithing hammer like yeah all my hammers are gone <laughs> already so uh, you can only use 10 hammers per piece of gear I forgot to bring that up uh, yeah so only 10 hammers per piece of gear you know so use those hammers wisely you know I kind of burnt through them all because I just wanted to show you guys what it was what it was like to use them and or how to use them and what you can use them on and what they were for for the purposes of this video, like I'm going to destroy this five star weapon later. Don't worry. <laughs> but as you see, I am completely out of attack still seals. So no more, 
ways I can get crit. And here we are, max weapon level 50. And as you see, my attack is only 143. A missing 19 attack of the maximum potential of this weapon. And I don't think I can live with that. So we're going to go ahead and resmith it. Again, these hammers um, you can get from PvP battles or as a reward in PvP battles. They're pretty expensive. They cost quite a big chunk of arena medals and over there in the mog shop as well. So be careful when using these smithing hammers. Be extremely careful with, you know, with all of these resources leveling up. You know, I just wasted a bunch because I wanted to show you guys everything. But if you didn't like the stats that you rolled, use a resmithing hammer on it. It will bring everything back down to level one. That way you can crit and roll again, use your hammers again, all that good stuff. Now you will lose everything that you use. You do not get that stuff back when you resmith. So just be careful with uh, the resources you use. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later, gamer.